Welcome to the tangent ratio. Let's begin with the right triangle first. Okay, the right triangle. Remember it has two legs and a hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always opposite that right angle. So we're going to talk about the acute angles, angles A and angle C. So with angle A, the opposite leg, let's go to angle A over here. Here's angle A up there. Goes straight across and that's the opposite leg right there. Okay, so the opposite leg would be leg BC. And the adjacent leg is the leg that it's touching. Angle A is touching this leg, so the adjacent leg would be AB. Okay? Uh, let's talk about angle C. It goes straight across from angle C. That would be the opposite leg. Here's the opposite leg, so it goes AB. And then the adjacent leg would be BC. Okay? And then uh, we're going to come across ratio. A ratio just means a fraction, you guys. So the tangent of an acute angle of a right triangle is the ratio of the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Okay, so above, the tangent of angle A would be opposite leg over adjacent leg. So just right across. And it's just a fraction, you guys. It's just a ratio. Okay, the tangent of angle C is opposite. So here's angle C. Here's opposite. So that's going to go on top over the adjacent. It goes on the bottom. Okay, easy enough. All right, so let's find, oops, let me go back. So it's uh, AB over BC. Sorry about that. Uh, so find uh, the tangent of S and the tangent of R in each, and then write the answers as fraction and as a decimal, okay? Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, thinking of something else, thinking ahead. Okay, so the tangent of angle S go opposite over adjacent, you guys. Let's deal with that first. So opposite is 80, and then adjacent is 18. 80 over 18, that reduces. 2 goes into 80 40 times, and then to 18 9 times, so it's 40 ninths. And then it says round that as a decimal to 4 places, so pick up your calculator. 40 divided by 9, and you get about... Um, 4.4444. So it said four decimal places, so I rounded that out. Okay, and then so the tangent of angle R go opposite over adjacent, so that would be 18 over 80, and that reduces to 9 fortieths, and then 9 divided by 40 gives you about 0 0.2250. And notice it said four decimals, so I had to do the zero at the end. Okay, here's another one, you guys. Uh, the tangent of angle S go straight across from angle S. So 45 over uh, adjacent, so opposite over adjacent, so 45 over 60. And then we're going to go ahead and reduce that. 15 goes into 45 three times, 15 goes into 64 times, so it reduces to 3 fourths. 3 fourths is 0 0.7500. Remember, four decimal places it said. Okay, the tangent of R would be opposite, so it would be 60 over 45, and 60 and 45 reduced to 4 thirds, and you get 1.3333. Okay, and then pick up a calculator, or if you have a chart, um, then use the chart, and we're going to find the values of each. So, tangent of 63. If you punch in 63 in your calculator, make sure it's in degrees mode. If you have a graphing calculator, some kids might have used them and, and left them in radians mode. So you want to make sure it's in the correct mode. Make sure your calculator can get you 1.96, okay? So we can make sure it's in degrees, okay? And then tangent of 15 gets uh, 0.268. All right, so we're going to use that information to find the value of x to the nearest tenth, okay? Here's a right triangle, okay? They give you an angle, and they give you two legs of a right triangle. So let's go ahead and do our tangent ratio. The tangent of 32 degrees equals, remember, tangent equals opposite over adjacent, so 11 over x, okay? And then you're going to find the decimal equivalency of tangent of 32. So tangent of 32 is 0.6249. That still equals 11 over x. And I'm going to change it to a fraction, 0.6249 over 1. Because when I have a fraction equals a fraction, that's called a proportion, and we can do that cross multiplying. So here we go, 0 0.6249 times x equals 1 times 11, and then you're going to divide both sides by 0 0.6249, and 11 divided by 6, 0.6249, I get about 17.6. Okay, said so round to the nearest tenth, you guys, so tenth is one decimal, so 17.6. Okay, one more, let's try this. Okay, you got another right triangle. Got that 17 degrees angle, so we're going to say the tangent of 17 is opposite over adjacent, so the opposite side 
is straight across, go straight across, and then the adjacent side is 19. So we'll find out a tangent of 17, and I get 0 0.3057 over 1 equals x over 19. Go ahead and cross multiply, and you get 1x equals uh, that times 19, and you get about 5.8. Okay, we'll see you in the sine and cosine uh, video next.